Hi, welcome to another story time. Our Bible verse today is Isaiah 60, 1 through 3. Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. For darkness shall cover the earth, and thick darkness the peoples. But the Lord will arise upon you, and his glory will appear over you. Nations shall come to your light, and kings to the brightness of your dawn. Our story today is called Light. In the beginning, there was an emptiness, like a blank canvas. Then, in a swirl of motion, the Creator made the world. The sun, the moon, and the stars were born. Still, waters became rivers and oceans. Lands became deep valleys and high mountains, blossoming with lush plants, trees, and fruit. Animals of all shapes, sizes, and colors appeared in the water, on the land, and in the clear blue sky. As a finishing touch, the Creator wanted to paint everything with a special kind of light, so the world would shine with goodness. The light was so powerful, it had to be stored away in a huge jar. But when the Creator started to open the jar, it shook violently, tipped over, cracked and shattered. Sparks of light flew out. The Creator couldn't find the missing pieces alone. Who could help? Birds, frogs, beasts? Then the Creator had an idea. People were made to find the shards of light and bring them together again. Only then would the world be complete and perfect. People searched far and wide. They spied pieces sparkling on blades of grass, shimmering on sea kale, and glistening on insect wings. They saw the light in animals' loving eyes. They discovered it in each other, and sometimes in themselves. Whenever people found the light, they felt contentment, joy, and peace. When they shared it with one another, there was no more hate, hunger, fear, or war. Many shards are still to be discovered. The world is incomplete and far from perfect. As long as people are searching for the pieces of light, finding them, and putting them back together, then there is hope that the world will be one. The end. I want you to think about when you feel joy when you feel happy and peaceful with yourself or with your friends and family? What kind of, what kind of things make you feel that way? Um, those things are the light that's inside you and that's inside everyone and everything. Let's pray. Will you all bow your heads and close your eyes? Dear Lord, thank you for bringing us all together. Thank you for being with us in this dark time when there's hatred and anger in the world and in our nation. Lord, be with us as we are with our friends and our families. Bring us light and joy and peace and happiness so that we can be safe and feel loved with everyone around us. Lord, please be with us each and every day. Amen.